Scorpio, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to the channel and I hope you're well and safe and um, as we are in some countries we are down to the second lockdown and in some countries it is compulsory to wear masks. My prayers go out to everybody and also my healings so if you want to receive positive energy then set the intention to receive it is nice to see you back thank you very much for your faithful following and your loyalty your likes and your shares I love you all and I look forward to every time I want I'm going live on Monday Wednesday and Friday you are my cyber family and I'm proud to call you my cyber angels and cyber babes for those that have just landed on this page, welcome to this page and I hope you enjoy the readings as well. The romance readings are already out for the, uh, August and please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified when I go live on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I also put notifications out in the community tab on YouTube, on Facebook and Instagram. I answer uh, questions that are supported by Super Chat donation or Super Sticker and I give away free cards. It is a beautiful, so I'm so blessed with my cyber family and my tea room, that's the live sessions. So if you feel alone or anything like that, no you're not alone, just join in. If you would like to have an extensive private reading then look below this video and you will find all the details or in the right hand corner of your screen. Um, this is the reading for the 27th to the, of July to the 2nd of August. We are going into an, we are in the other zodiac sign but we're going into an other month. So that month is Leo and that is also a fire sign and August and it is summer so it is the energy of passion action creativity getting what we want going for what we want and beautiful 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 I hope your month will be beautiful as well in August of course and especially this week as I'm reading for this week if you are a cross watcher then uh, make sure that it might not resonate for you to you um, as this is a general reading also to my cyber angels but they know that they can watch their moon sign and their rising sign as well and you might even get a clearer picture from one of those readings it's nice to see you back and I hope you are well like I said and I hope you will enjoy this reading. This is my Querent card or the overall energy card Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. The four corner cards are the cards that will clarify the cards around it and vice versa and I've got the a reading of the angel cards and Archangel Metatron. That is the Archangel that uses geo esoterical geometrical uh, shapes and also the white light. He represents the white light and uses it to clear our chakras when he heals us. And you can do this by meditating with Archangel Metatron. And Archangel Metatron is also the angel for moving home. So let's get started and I hope you will enjoy it. The first card that you have is Celebrations. Celebrations, why? Because you've got the Three of Cups. So you will be celebrating this week or perhaps going to uh, being invited to a party this week with family and friends. On Monday you have the Four of Pentacles. Perhaps you have um, gone inwards perhaps you've gone inwards on Monday perhaps you've got the four of coins and the four of coins means holding on to something tight this could be finances it could be a person 
it could be onto your 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 house your hobby you are clamping down on something if it could also mean that you have spent too much money uh, or you are spending too much money and it is a warning card then to tighten up those purse strings and to keep something for a rainy day now um, four is also um, a number that usually means peace rest um, and also proper foundations um, you know if you are closing yourself up you can see here usually he has a coin on his head in front of his chest and two underneath his feet but he's holding everything here so you have closed down your heart you've closed down your solar plex your emotional chakra and your mind you've closed your mind perhaps to spirituality um, or you have closed your mind to new ideas or to see other people's point of view open up your mind open up your solar plex open up your heart and be open to receiving love laughter joy so that you can celebrate you can sell it if you do open up then you can celebrate the fact Scorpio that you have opened up your high heart to love and joy again <coughs> okay so that is on Monday and if you hold on to somebody too tight it's like plucking a flower and you know it's going to die everybody has their own life but remember we don't belong to anybody except ourselves and the divine we can be with somebody but we don't belong to somebody and nobody belongs to us we belong together and that is called a partnership but you have your life they have their life and you've got a life together if you're hooked up so if you're not hooked up open up your heart and somebody might enter on Wednesday this is quite a, an, um, uh, a tough card you've got the five of cups don't look back because and other, uh, what I'm also hearing is don't look at what you don't have okay look at what you do have and go out there and come out of your comfort zone this is also being in your comfort zone being safe staying where you know and what you know staying where you are, know what you where you are and what you have you can only expand in things in the mind in the heart by going out there and taking action and looking at what you've got now realizing that you can change the present in order to change the future you're the one that has to take the action and the choices and the decision don't cry over spilled milk okay take those two cups and multiply them back to five and ten right that is what the message is for Wednesday and the energy now you can only expend by doing research and being eager to learn like the Queen of Swords the Queen of Swords uh, is uh, predominantly the Libra but don't exclude Gemini or Aquarius they are people um, they stand for wisdom communication clarity honesty and justice if you are in a judicial situation then take a page out of the Queen of Swords book and do more research so that you get the truth and clarity that you need in order to win okay you might want to do research to specialize in something um, you might um, meet a, um, a Libra or a Gemini or an Aquarian on Friday at the weekend we have the Empress 
Again, the Empress represents Libra, two cards that are profoundly Libra representation. The Empress is also uh, the card that means Mother Earth. Look at her swollen tummy. The ground is now fertile for new studies, new communications, new wisdom. It will enhance and, uh, and, and expand your knowledge and your life uh, uh, experience because when you've got the knowledge then you can make better choices or decisions, or clear decisions. So the ground is fertile now for something new. You might hear of a birth. This could be of a child. This could be of a project. A new job perhaps or a new hobby. You might find out that you are pregnant. If you still can get pregnant, uh, if you are mature, then you might find out you're becoming a grandmother or a grandfather. The Mother Earth, the Empress, she sows seeds and she nurtures them. And when they come, ju they sprout just above the ground, she will nurture them, give them water, give them food, in order that they will grow and enhance into a fully fledged plant or crop. That once it is ha uh, blossomed, it can be harvested. When you learn, you grow mentally and you can harvest the fruit at the end of the study by getting a promotion or a new job. So this could also mean that you might be getting a new job or if your question is a new friend or a new love, it could be um, blossoming right now when you meet this Libra. Wow. Like I said, wow. You must be prepared um, for this for something to happen but it can only happen if you open up your heart your mind and your solar plex okay now the first card that we have is the dog the dog means a friend that is loyal and trustworthy this could be your new friend that will be loyal and trustworthy because they are they will be clear and they will tell you the truth even if they are sharp, sharp tongued because they represent the the swords and the swords do cut on both ways but they they can be sharp literally and figuratively right in their speech and um and things that they do the manners but they will tell you the truth and if you don't like it then just say what do you mean by it okay because they are the communicators and they're skilled communicators most of them the young ones have to learn to communicate and mellow and the intonations and being mellow and being gentle and so don't take it to heart when they say something and when they're sharp ask for clarity that's what they expect you to do as well if you don't know what they mean or why they are talking the way they do and they whether it's sharp then point them out on their mistake that's how you maintain a friendship and loyal and trustworthy friends will tell you the truth okay they won't beat around the bush they won't take <laughs> lead you around the garden that's what I'm, I'm getting to see this okay Okay, we've got number 18 and that's a 9. So there is an end to difficulties. There will be a loyal friend uh, with you and telling you how you could do things. Because you've got the 10 of cups. Wow, this is magic. The 10 of hearts is happy families. Happy families and friends. Reunions with family and friends. Party. Happiness all around. And look party celebrations okay it could be a friend's birthday and you might be invited but you perhaps you um, you you closed yourself off to this friend don't 
Go out there, get out of your comfort zone and mingle with people. Let friendships blossom perhaps into relationships. Perhaps somebody that you didn't expect to be able to be a special friend. Okay? Beautiful. This could be a lady. Okay? This could be a lady. You've also got the Ace of Spades, which means victory. You've got victory with something. This could be with a study. This could be with a judicial situation. Okay? This could also be new ideas that you want to bring out into the world. Your seed that will grow, that will bring its uh, resonant or the return er, uh, time and time again. It could be a new job. So your salary, that will come back every single month or week. This could be a job in communication. This could be a job um, in wisdom, teaching. This could be a job uh, as an advocate, a lawyer, a butcher, a hairdresser. But you will see the return. Okay. You could also, again, meet a lady that is an air sign. 29 is 11. The angels are giving you a porthole to step through to this new beginning. So because there is, a, there could be any lady, of course, but because we've got the Empress and the Queen of Swords here, it can be an air sign or a Libra predominantly. Okay. You might even be celebrating with her. Uh, if she is your partner and she is pregnant, you'll be celebrating that she is pregnant. It's a very feminine energy. Wow. Then we have the garden. You've got the Eight of Swords. Okay. You might feel entrapped. And this can relate to this card. Okay. You've closed yourself off because you might feel trapped in some way or rather. Perhaps in the old, uh, in the, in an old relationship and you, 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 since you've lost that relationship, it's been cut off because we've got the swords. Perhaps, um, it was with a Libra and you felt in uh, so much in love with it and you love this person so much but they've left your life so please open up and be ready for the new um, take off that blindfold shrug those uh, because it usually is a woman um, wrapped up in ropes or ribbon but it's not tied up with a blindfold so come out of your head take the blindfold off shrug these ropes off and walk through the swords come back into balance you've got 20 the garden means reunion somebody could be coming back from the past this could be that Libra that air sign okay there will be parties barbecues you might get an invitation to one of these do's find out more information if the Libra will be there or not or the, a specific person from your past okay if you don't want to go then don't go but don't shut yourself off or away enjoy life there's plenty of things to be happy about look at what you've got and not what you have and look what we have if I do an extended reading I would have seen this I would see this you have both gone your separate ways she's gone that way and he's gone that way but because this is a reading that I'm doing this way I would say there could be somebody coming in especially because we've got two females lying here you've got the ace of hearts so that's the ace of cups that could be a new love. If you're a man, it could be a woman. If it's a woman, it could be a man. 
but we do have also two females so for anybody that is loves the same sex you could be meeting a new person new love new passion a new time to nurture yourself and the other sensuality and sexuality are on the forefront here as well remember passion doesn't last real love does so communicate definitely communication is very important 28 an ending a new beginning so take that 11 from the angels and let me have a look uh, 11 and that the angels are giving you this new beginning and make five cups out of the two like I said pick it up make it five and make it into ten and here you've got the ten wow and two aces so that's one one again an eleven or a two and you've got three three so the angels are showing up here definitely and you're moving up from <coughs> uh, one to um, two two uh, two ones two one and one is two two uh, three and a four five so you're going up and up and up you're going forwards and upwards time will tell you've got the angel of patience again 21 is a three so if you see a number anywhere three three or three 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 then the angels are showing that might be the right time that you're going to meet a new person this Libra for instance so patience that is what is important at the moment have patience you will meet the right person at the right time because of the divine is intervening here your cup of abundance is coming in blessings and thanks thanks abundant universe wow there you go number 47 7 and 4 is 11 again an 11 Scorpio this is an amazing reading the angels are showing you you're not alone they are taking care of you but in their di right in the in their time not the earthly time just enjoy what you have now and how far you've come and what you've been through okay don't worry come out of your head and out of your isolation party a little bit but don't burn the candle on both sides take care and I hope you've liked this reading and be blessed stay safe and please share and like and I'll see you in the live ciao ciao thank you for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it and remember have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and I'll see you in the live Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.